For the second time this season, New England staying out west for a back-to-back -back West Coast trip. Didn't work out so well the first time, but mm -hmm. they're playing the Raiders, not the Chargers. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, CBS Sports. It's Charlie Casterly. Glad to be with you on the NFL previews presented by Comcast. And uh, Charlie, let's start with New England here because they're the team that still has a chance at the playoffs. What do you take of their chances? I think they got a great chance. Okay, Certainly they're going to be favored here with the Raiders. Then they come home to Arizona. Arizona has not won an East Coast game all year. And then they finish up at Buffalo. Hey, Buffalo's dying a slow death right up there. They can't score. I think they're going to I think they got a chance here to win these last three games go 11 and 5. But Charlie, we've asked this all year long with New England and we have to do it again. We've done it with various players. They've lost guys, lost guys, lost guys. Now it's Teddy Bruschi who's done for the year. What kind of a factor does that play down the stretch? Well, it, it plays a factor depending upon who you're playing. That's part of it. But also, Teddy Bruschi, I don't think Teddy Bruschi was having a Pro Bowl season. So I don't think they lost a tremendous amount here. They brought in Junior Sale. Hey, Junior Sale, maybe 40 years old, it's, it's a four-game season. He can get through four games. They'll get him through four games, I should say, here. Uh, so I don't think, based on who they're playing uh, and where they're playing them, I don't think it's as huge an impact as it would be earlier in the season. All right. And meanwhile, the other part to this game is that it's Randy Moss's first trip uh, back to Oakland since, of course, he was traded to the New England Patriots for last year's mm -hmm. season. And uh, Randy Moss is going up against Namdi Asimwa. Can he take away Randy Moss and make the Patriots beat him some other way? I'll tell you what, I, th this is going to be a fun matchup. You know, last week, Seattle, Marcus Trufant, who's a good corner, he played and he went one on one a good part of the game with Randy Moss and, and really limited Moss during the game. Uh, Amdi Nasawa is a better corner than Marcus Trufant. He's having a great year. When I talk to people in the league, this is the one corner that continually sticks out as the best corner in the game today. Hey, I, I think he could match up with them. Remember, they've gone against each other in practice. practice yeah. So they kind of know each other a little bit. If I was Oakland, hey, I take my shot. What do I got to lose? If I do that, at least I can load up on some other areas. Well, that's the other question. You get one-on-one -on -one with Randy Moss, maybe, maybe a little bit of safety help over the top, but you still don't have anybody to match up with Wes Welker. No, Wes Welker. <laughs> as, as We're you, talking about 20 uh, catches here. He, he, he might have a big day in this game. A lot of first downs with Wes Welker. All right, meanwhile for Oakland here, what are you trying to do if you're the Raiders? What are you trying to establish? Well, the Raiders formula is to run the ball. That's what they do best. So, you know, they've got to, they've got to go with that, and, and they can do pretty good with it. So, hey, that's what they've got to do. Now, the, the thing about the Raiders is they've got to find a way to be successful in the passing game. Last week against Oakland, not, excuse me, against San Diego, not very good at all. Hey, when they beat Denver, uh, they threw the ball not very many times, under 15, completed a very high percentage of passes in that game. That's what they got to hope to do here because, you know what, New England struggles stopping the passing game. If Oakland can get that going, they got a chance. And that was on, on display last week when Seneca Wallace threw for three touchdown passes right. against the Patriots. Let's take a look at the AccuScore prediction, 10,000 tests, excuse me. Again, uh, uh, no AccuScore for this game, but as you'd expect, the Patriots are the uh, favorite in this game. Charlie, you think they win? I think they win. Now, one interesting thing here, Matt Castle has missed a good part of the week because uh, a, a death in his family. His father passed away, and we're all sorry to hear that, and our prayers and thoughts are with the family. Uh, how will that affect him not practicing? In the first week, he's had that. But I just look at it this way. The Oakland Raiders have had no consistency from game to game this year. So for them to be consistent is not something you're going to count on. I like the Patriots to win. Hey, they're getting momentum for that playoffs. Mm -hmm. They see it at the end of the, they see that light at the end of the tunnel uh, I think they're going to win the game just because they are more consistent week in and week out in all phases of the game uh, than the Raiders are. All right we'll see how it plays out we can see the game on CBS and for more on this one or any other in week 15 be sure to stay with CBSSports.com watch everything else on the CBS audience network for Charlie Casterly I'm Jason Horowitz take care folks.